Well, hey there, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. So the temperatures here have reached a dangerous level. Let's take a look. So toil, soil temperature 140, and this is early in the morning. Listen, uh, touching metal burns my skin. So uh, I'm going to switch gears up because obviously I can't work uh, like I need to on the build. So I'm going to improve the quality of my life. So I'm going to do three different things. First, I'm going to add a little pizza oven to my outdoor grill that's just been Dutch oven, right? So that I could toast sandwiches and whatnot. Add a little bit of, uh, of, I don't know, joy to cooking again. Secondly, I'm going to install a, a little tiny refrigerator that will run off of solar. I do have a big fridge in storage, but uh, I, again, I want to be able to freeze water and get it down and uh, basically run it off of solar. Third is a big storm came in, whacked my uh, my jackery and my that solar. So I'm going to go ahead and um, fix my jackery, and uh, that, you know I'll do three different um, videos so people don't have to wade through all three of them. Uh, first off, let me go ahead and do something fun. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, do a little showcase on a Cuisinart uh, stovetop. Uh, pizzeria that I could put on my camp stove and I could just make sandwiches and pizzas and things like that. Not a big thing, but I'm telling you, you get bored cooking Dutch oven. And when it's 141, sometimes you just want a quick sandwich or, you know, something fast. I don't want to sit there and cook around a stew pot. So let's do that. I wanted to look at that pizza oven thing because um, I cook on a Dutch oven and I like this Pioneer part. I'm not complaining. None of this is complaint. It's just statement of fact. But I miss being able to toast sandwiches and uh, make frozen pizzas. Pot pies. Pot pies. We might give it a whirl tonight. We might, <laughs> I, we've got some pot pies. We might stick it in there. So without further ado, let me go ahead and start unboxing. I'm going to do the easy thing first. So I had two, eat, I had two options. One of those was uh, a pizza oven with the gas intake where there's flame all the way around it. And then there's this that sits on top of an oven. Well, I already have an oven out there. I think this will be okay. Yes. Gourmet outdoor grilling. Ooh, so it should be stainless. Squeezing our pizza oven. Don't know anything about it other than it was an option for me to buy. So look, baby, it just, just sits on top. Leah's here with me. She's off camera. She's my peanut gallery. Yes. So I've got a pizza thing and then I've got the thing. You can read through the instructions. Right now I'm on a Coleman camper stove, but um, my chickens will eat styrofoam, so I've learned I have to hide chick. Uh, I have to hide the styrofoam. It's dumb. That's a dumb problem, and I like those chickens so much. So you can see that it's just, you know, I thought this might be stainless steel or something here, but it's not. It's just the oven into a pizza, and then it reflects the heat back down. That's all it's doing. Yeah, because it sets on right. the grill. So then the it grill, sets on the grill. Yeah, so the grill's actually mm -hmm, heating mm -hmm, it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, very simple thing. Not super complex. There's a hole in the top. I don't know what that's for. Man, this is, no, I'm wrong. I feel a metal plate in yeah, here. Yeah, it's, it's the pizza uh, tray. Oh, is it like a stone? Um, um, so the grill will cook this, right? Mm -hmm. And then this will go, now there's a picture of flame. Does that go down towards the flame? Yes. All right. So this just slides right in there. I can slide out. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's pretty easy setup. Yeah. So there's a hole on the top here. Is that for a, a handle or is that yeah. a vent? Is that for the handle. Oh, it fell. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You know what it was? It was a thermometer and I bang, managed to bang it against everything. Did I break it? Nope. You know what? I'm going to put this outside and see what the outside temperature oh, is yeah. right now. There are a lot more parts in this little piece of art than I expected. Yeah, so you know, this is a kind of thing I would never buy for myself, but if those little bonus points, I'm like, yeah, you know, you got X amount of points. You can redeem it for this stuff. Yes. So there's the pillows like this. So there's going to be a, a handle and then... Uh-huh. What are these clips for? So these are just to raise the grill up so oh, you don't okay. burn. That's, they're not, they don't go in. So you could probably use that on the other one if you wanted. The pizza thing. Well, I'll know after, if I burn the first one. Oven stands, it says. Pizza peel. 
And then it came with an aluminum pizza panel. That's fun. Yeah. It says there sh I should find a handle with this thing, though. I don't see that. Oh, there it is. Would you want to put those two things together and hand it back? I still think those go on here, but I don't know if I want them on here. I think maybe I do because then the heat won't be right yes, on. Exactly. It'll raise it up off Ooh. the grill. All right, so there's my little Cuisinart. I like it. It's got little grips here where I can pick it up. That's to keep it off the grill while it's cooking. So I got a handle. Like that. That. The stone just slides in, so that's convenient. This stone oven part and the flame goes up so there now I have a, an oven I didn't have an oven we're not done with two things I also need to put the little thermometer on here there you go. man I made a mess all right, That's we'll put nice. that together off camera. This is nice. It's really nice. pizza panel. I can hang it in the pop-up yes. camper. All right, well, I'm super happy with yes. this. For This will be very convenient for somebody like me or who's sandwiches. living off the grid. Girl sandwiches. Oh uh, if oh. I want frozen French, it expands what I can yes. do from a Dutch oven and a grill to uh, toasted yes. food. So. All right, let me see what the temperature is outside. I don't know, it's still early in the morning. Leah wins, it was just 101. It is, a, it is hot picking this up. It, it is already 101 out there. It's freaking ridiculous, man. All right, so I'm gonna put this on so that, um, holy crap, how does that work? No, no, that's the last part. This is the only only part that's stupid. How'd you do it? No, that's not how that works. That's you're just gonna you're gonna jam up that thing. That is not how that works. They're saying remove the inner assembly. Look at that. I'm not even removing crap. Oh, maybe you take that out. I don't want to work that hard. Okay, well just set it on top. Why then. did they make that hole bigger? I don't. This is this is where right, we're at. Now I'm crabby. This is no, I'm crabby. All right, I'm gonna spend a few minutes off camera figuring this out. Uh, come on, Cuisinart, you add me a hello, and then you eff it up with the thermometer. Ah. All right, Cuisinart, <laughs> grill top pizza oven kit. You went from, you would have been a five or a 10, you yeah. know, on a five scale, it bet about five, down to nothing. So imagine that you're just, you know, you ordered this for your kids, you're out camping, and uh, you want to make a pizza, and uh, you get to everything's assembled, just slides in, except this part. Let me show you. That does not clear. I have to remove the steel tray to put in the thermometer, which means unscrewing all these legs to pull out the tray. So I hope if you're out camping, you brought a screwdriver and a screw gun with you, right? So you went from, uh, Cuisinart went from, uh, you know, five down to a, a minus one. Thank you for playing. Appreciate that. It was terrible. It's, it was this bad. is terrible. This is terrible of a manufacturer. Take the freaking time and put that in so the consumer doesn't have to. Honestly, the, most terrible. people would throw this away on Christmas Day. It ruins the fun. Ruins the fun. But all right, I'm determined. Since I'm a YouTuber and I'm stuck with the, the shit that shows up in my life, let, let me let me do this. Everything was good. Oh my God, why do they have to do this? And I'll tell you what, if I unscrew these and it doesn't just pop out, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh my gosh, let's just hope that doesn't happen. Oh, uh, bonus, if you're, you know, the screws are so tiny that I know I'm gonna lose one. No, I want to complain and make the make the video more entertaining. Not that people don't like videos more that that just bitch the whole time. That's yeah. what makes a video no, satisfying. I mean, no. we haven't even cooked the pizza in this yet. Paying slave labor in China anyway. They couldn't have had an eight-year-old kid put that in for them. And it's a Cuisinart. It's not like I bought a no-name Hong Zong something or another. I did. I bought. 
That's why people buy no-name stuff anymore, because the name brand stuff's crap too. Oh my God, I gotta remove all eight screws. So what did I say, a minus one? That, that puts them down to a minus three. Listen, something that would have been together in five minutes is now a 15 minute job again on Christmas day. You've ruined Christmas day for people. In the factory, this would have been a 30 second operation. This makes no sense to have a consumer. You send me a fully assembled item, then I have to disassemble it to put into one thing that you could have put in in the factory, literally. And if they're using a robot, it would have been no seconds. What kind of CEO made that decision? We can save, uh, you know, 100,000 units. We save 30 seconds. It's not a saving at all because here I am telling people not to buy this. Right. Now, I want it off my, my bonus point, so it didn't cost me anything. I mean, honestly, I'm not trying to exaggerate the complaint it's here. A, it's a you People are watching me real time doing this. We don't even know if this is the way this comes apart. We have no idea. Okay, that's what, the, that's what the picture looks like. So I had to disassemble it yes, so that's to put that thermometer in. Yeah, I wish that we still made stuff in America, and I still wish that we people cared. So the the, uh, the, the screw anchors are in, were spot welded on so weakly that they're already oh. broken. So this thing arrived broke. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, God, I didn't so pull two, four, pay any money. six, eight, and it says you're supposed to undo those, but don't. Cause... Wow. So now I have to be real careful putting it back together because I can't fix, I don't have a stop well to fix that. Is that, if no, it won't fall out. The hot plate won't fall out once I put the screws exactly. back in once because it'll be bolted all together, sandwiched together. Mm -hmm. But, uh, wow. Wow. Right, Internet? Wow. Again, this is the kind of stuff that, well, I don't care, right? I really don't care. I just it want to toast a sandwich. But if this had been a Christmas day or you had four kids waiting around for a pizza all excited. Birthday party. Birthday party. Birthday. <laughs> you know, camping, you're not going to be bringing screwdrivers oh, and tools. Right. If you had to camp, oh, no. You, well, you, now we have to put a you'll throw. What a, you know what would happen? The dad would be so angry at the disappointed people, he'd throw that in the trash with nothing but swear words, and instead of having a happy time, they all everybody get to watch dad have a fit. Because dads don't put up with that kind of crap, right? Well, they but, just want to have a good time with their family, and yeah. instead they're in a, a construction site. Right, right. In, in that situation, you could have set it on top and went, oh, that's chintzy. And then this would have been dirty. You never would have gotten the screws. These welds, you saw that they're already broken. They're not going to hold up to 400 degree heat as it expands. So I'm hoping that this all stays together. Oh my gosh, you're so right. Oh, right. then we could even do bread in there too. Right, right. For me, as a disposable item, I'm glad I didn't buy that one with the gas fittings. Because it would have been just as cheaply made, just yeah. it would have had a gas pipe on the top. There is no excuse for this. Does everything have to be toilet paper disposable? Coleman, you used to buy Coleman camping equipment and it would last. I got old Camp Coleman from the 60s. I wish we would have kept all of our Coleman stuff. Yeah, Coleman. yeah, you know, uh, old Coleman stuff from the 60s is still going. You know, you just have to scrub it off with steel wool. And sometimes when you, when you do the last part, like when you peel the sticker off something, there's a sense of ownership. You feel validated as a human being. Because well, it doesn't this, inconvenience you. Well, this we should feel, okay, now we finished it. Well, yeah, but every edge was razor sharp. I mean, they had me disassembling all the sheet metal. I'm lucky I didn't get caught, yeah, and it's no. not over yet. All because they want to save less, not even money. I mean, they still have the factory workers come work 8 or 12 hours, whatever god all awful thing they do. It's the time, yeah. right? So that the 100,000 units go in the box three seconds faster. And then I am i don't know how long I am on this video. 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Oh my God. Seems about 20 like minutes of my life. And that was with me closing off the camera so I could have a cussing fit. Two people reading because we can't, we couldn't even believe the instructions. 
disassemble the inside yeah, to stick the thing. Like, disassemble what? the assembled thing? In what world does that make sense? And then uh, later on when I listen to myself and put this video up, I'm going to say, you know, I bitch a lot. I whine and cry. And it's not. It's just as a consumer, I just wanted to have fun with this silly little device. Sure. Well, you know, to be honest, those were razor sharp edges. In yes. There. Razor sharp edges. So I don't want you to do that. All right. So now we're where we started. Completed unit. They saved a nickel. So unboxing this and assembly, I'm going to give it honestly a minus one. The, the risk of getting cut, the ridiculousness of having to attach one thing. Come on now. But we don't even know if it'll toast the sandwich yet. So we'll get a pizza and we'll we will. We'll go get a tombstone pizza and then try that. All right. So there's a little wrap up. There it is sitting on my Coleman uh, propane camp stove. It fits okay. The legs that went on the bottom would not fit because the camp stove grids are so wide apart. Uh, so you will or will not use that depending on how you use it. This thing's kind of cool. The little pizza pan's cool. I'll do another. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, it fit perfect on there. It so did. that raised it from a negative one for construction. I three. We haven't cooked yet. Oh, so it's a three. All right. It's three out of five. I think it'll be a nine. Oh, uh, and then Leah looked it up. It was 149 It was the normal price well, of this thing. Uh, I don't know. 149 They could have yeah. put that in, and they could have spot welded have. it better. It came in broken. It's physically broken. Yeah. All right. I let the uh, I let this preheat, but I didn't, like, pre-cook. It now says it's heading towards 200 It's a single burner. We put a piece of tin foil there. I don't know if that was smart or not, but we put a piece of tin foil in there. And we've decided 10 minutes. Normally, we would have liked this to have been 375, somewhere up there. So I don't know how much I can control all of that. All right, this was in that Cuisinart. I, I think the top's still going to be a little undone, but um, definitely the bottom was getting burnt. Uh, now, Lee and I both like al dente, so we'll see if we like this. Because uh, it's definitely burned, and we'll find out how burned. So let me do a little wrap-up on this Cuisinart. Uh, I ended up liking it, so in construction, it honestly is in minus one. Uh, it's thin, it's chintzy. That they couldn't put this thermometer on was ridiculous. You had to disassemble the whole thing to put that thermometer on. But uh, in execution, now the first time I cooked, I did not include the legs because I didn't think they'd clear. But I gave this another whirl, and I think the next time around, uh, it will be perfect. But the pizza was excellent. So uh, I'm not complaining about the pizza. I'm going to give it a, a 8 out of 10. And then once I learn to cook with this thing on this uh, little camp stove, uh, it might even be a 10 out of 10.